game show. Happy New Year! Hello guys, it's me Karnset, and I can have Karn95, and welcome to a game I haven't done in a while, and that is NBA 2K15, so... What can I say? <sighs> Xbox Game Pass uh, already brought in NBA 2K22, so... That's like a seven year difference, so... <laughs> I plan on doing an old game today, so... Why not? Um, my Chicago Bulls got eliminated, so yeah, I'm gonna do a Chicago Bulls theme game today. So um, it's between the Chicago Bulls and the Denver Nuggets. So um, as the thumbnail title says, I'm doing my first my GM game, meaning I play basically human as myself, while I'm not actually simulating this game because you know I played a few basketball games in my career on Xbox and it hasn't been that bad you know like build my archetype like be a 3D play player or be a rebounder I'm telling you those are the two archetypes I build my uh, strengths upon you know being a rocket bucket or just Make three pointers from the three four yeah, <laughs> from behind the arc. So, what can I say? There's Ernie Johnson and Shaquille O'Neal doing a pre-game show. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the game between the Bulls and the Nuggets, or flip flop Nuggets and the Bulls. The Bulls are home court advantage. So. So basically, it's not my career that I'm doing. It's just the real NBA players that are usually on TV and stuff. So, where do I want to start? So, as a, I form my Chicago Bulls in my GM, my goal is to actually be be playmakers. You know, whether you're a point guard to a center or a wing, find the open man. That's all. And then in defense, play man to man and not switch a, uh, defenders, you know. You know, like uh, make them rotate when they actually have the ball and actually, you know, defend somebody and actually go from there so, so there's a good start to to nothing Todd Gibson gets the point so. so since it's only an 18 to 20 minute video yeah mm. you'll see at the end I shot lights out from three-point line with one of my players especially Jimmy Butler you know like I'm telling you, as a Miami Heat, <laughs> Jimmy Butler is having an, a perfect seat, yeah, perfect playoffs against the Joel Embiid less 76ers. So I think they'll sweep them, according to the Chris Move from YouTube. You know, I I never lost the Heat and 76ers. Uh, game on YouTube yet. It's just one of the highlight reels where you watch three minutes of Chris Mood's uh, take on the game and then he just picks out the, you know, enticing the excitement of the, what the game was all about, so. so I'm going to leave off by saying that the Bulls are they were one and done against the Bucks. Well, they did win one game, but game five was awful. <laughs> and it ended their season, so. Like I'm talking about 2022, not 2015, so. So. 
There you have it, some I mean, Cap and Carl F. Y'all have great day and peace out. Their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Taking a look at the Nuggets, we've got Gallinari. Osgov is out there with JaVale McGee. Then there's Foy, and it's Robinson in at the point guard position. Well, Denver in the post-Mello years has been a collection of good players, but you always have to wonder if they'll have a low ceiling because this team does not have a so-called superstar. At that point, Denver has done well without what most would call a superstar, but obviously that takes its toll come playoff time. It really does. I mean, you need somebody that you can really rely on as your go-to guy, the one who gets it done for you in the clutch, and they haven't quite established that player, and yet they're still competitive. The Bulls making a switch here. Rose is checked in. Foy from long range. Can't get it to go. And in Chicago the other way. Last break. Here comes Chicago. Here's Heinrich. Well time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Heinrich's got the lead up to 10 now for Chicago. Here comes Nate Robinson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Foy, the pass to going up. All alone. And there's another one for the Nuggets. And it's the Bulls with the ball. The Celtics will be coming into town for the next game. And that'll be the middle game of their five and their longest homestand of the year. No doubt that Boston fans want to see the Celtics take that one. He's got a nice stroke from long range, and you know, he's not likely to pass up those opportunities when he gets them. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. Mike Dunleavy, the former number three overall pick out of Duke, uh, Steve, back in 2002. Yeah, he played on that Duke team uh, back in 2001 that won the NCAA championship, played alongside Williams and Boozer. You know, never really became a star, but a quality player over his 12-year NBA career. Taj Gibson's checked in for the Bulls. Robinson against Heinrich. A three. Mike Dunleavy again from deep. Dunleavy's got six in the quarter. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. And Mike Dunleavy Jr. is the son of a former NBA player and coach, Mike Sr. Actually, I played against Mike Sr. during his days. And Mike Sr., the dad, was a 6'3 point guard. Mike Jr. at 6'9", because of that exposure to his dad's game, Mike Jr. has always had great ball handling skills even at 6'9". Going by Robinson. Here's Lawson. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Six points for Ty Lawson. And the field goal percentage now up over 50%, so the offense coming around. Yeah, Steve, I think that's a good sign. I mean, they stumbled out of the gates, but looking to regain some ground right now. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. And for Dunleavy, a really smart help defender, and offensively has become more and more reliable with his three-point shot here in the latter part of his career. Some changes for Chicago. Noah comes in for Pau Gasol, and McDermott subbed in for Dunleavy. Denver also making some changes. J.J. Hickson needs checked in for Mazda. Fareed comes in for Gallinari, and Wilson Chandler subbed in for Nate Robinson. Heinrich outside. Here's Gibson. Pass to McDermott. Heinrich kicks it to Noah. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. It's for Reed, top of the key. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Steve Kenneth Fareed really raised in the game. There's there so many great stories when he was young. Uh, he was challenged by his family in so many ways on the. Welcome back. The calendar has flipped over, and so have we into the second half of our broadcast. Gotta like what Derrick Rose has done in this game. Yeah, what a remarkable half the way he attacked the rim and scored in the paint. Defenders well, they were trying to slow him down any way possible, but he still got through. Easier said than done when he's the penetrator. His speed and agility make him extremely hard to defend. D. Rose and Jimmy Butler at the back. Inside, Gibson and Noah. And it's McDermott in at the three spot. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. Good aggressive finish on the break. 
That's as easy a two points as you could ask for. Rose dishes to Butler. The tray. And it's Denver with the rebound. Nixon's got his third rebound on the night. The Nuggets trail by six. Chandler with a screen for Lawson. Ty Lawson somewhat undersized at the point guard position at 5'11", but he makes up for it with his strength, and he really competes defensively. He is not easy to push around. And for Lawson, the issue defensively, not so much getting overpowered, Clark. There's just certain shots he can't get to. Yeah, well, he's not the biggest guard. I mean, he's actually one of the smaller guards we have in the league, but he's powerful, he's explosive, and he does on occasion get outsized, and he just has to do the best he can in those situations. That's a two from Butler. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. And that's 11 points for Butler. Fantastic pass. He turned that one into a pretty easy basket for his teammate. Here's Hickson. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. J.J. Hickson, an absolute beast on the board. It's actually waived by the Kings back in 2012. Started 80 games the following season in Portland before signing a three-year deal going into last year with the Denver Nuggets. Clark, you talk about Hickson. He started at center for the Blazers two seasons ago. You know, he's 6'9", a little undersized for that position, but he's physical enough to throw his weight around with anybody. Not a big-time shot blocker or defender, but his activity and his offensive ability make him a force in the middle. The Nuggets trail by eight. Watson outside. Jumper off the screen. Second chance shot, and the layup good by Hickson. Their second half has started quite well. They've been good on three of their first four attempts. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Rose passes to Butler. There's the triple. Another three for Chicago. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. And let's quickly have a look at the State Farm assist of the game, which came, Steve, from kind of an unlikely source here. Yeah, it's the big fella here doing his best impression of a point guard, <laughs> serving up a, a brilliant feed here. That's gorgeous. So out there for the Nuggets right now, Afalo and Chandler are on the wing. Hickson is out there with Kenneth Faree, and it's Lawson in at the point. Beautiful work in the transition game. That's how to do it. Attack early before the defense can get itself set. Bulls moving the ball around. Butler from outside. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. And that's now 29 points for Butler. The Nuggets trail by 20. A follow kicks to Hickson. Chandler outside. Rose against Lawson. Kick out to a Flalo. Shot clock at five. Takes the three. Chandler, no good. Now defensively, they did a great job of staying tight on him. Nick Dermott. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. And it's a Flalo penetrating. And Noah with the block. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area they just can't afford to get lazy with. You know, I think the effort's been there, Steve, but they're still getting outworked just by a scope. Well, toughness, such a key part of playing in the NBA. You know, a lot of times people associate that word with physical toughness, but sometimes it's just mental toughness as well. You know, trying to play through injuries, uh, just focusing through. Time from Noah. I like the work there, contesting that shot that looked like it was going to be easy, but they forced the miss. You know what? He got it in close, but couldn't finish in track. Well, when you talk, Clark, about superstar contracts, it's estimated that LeBron James is worth four times more than he makes in player salary. I don't find that hard to believe. I mean, he's one of the biggest stars in all of sports. When you think about the magnitude of his celebrity. But you don't need to increase max salaries to that level. Right now, bets are limited to about a third of the cap. 
boosted it to 40 or 50 percent, I think most of our players would look for their own teams to carry. Mm -hmm. From deep rows, another three for Chicago. Well, guys, this was never really a contest, just total obliteration. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Bulls. You're right, Steve. It was a standout performance across the board. They were just uh, at times part that seemed toying with them. Yeah, like watching a cat play with a mouse, Kevin, quite yeah. honestly. They were able to do more or less whatever they wanted to do. And so looking at their number, this will be win number 22 on the year. Well, I think they're very motivated to come in tonight and win after losing the first game against them this season. Without question. I mean, they had this date circled on the calendar for redemption. I mean, you never want to lose two games and be swept, and it can be harder in an East-West game than playing against teams in your own conference. So this is a big win for them. And what a huge standout performance it was for Jimmy Butler. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do anything, really, uh, to stop him. Pass to Snell. Here it's Itch with it. Working on Hickson. And here comes Harris, leading the fast break. Now, here is four. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take Monskov, who's checked in for J.J. Hickson. And here are the Bulls now. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's tipped. It's stolen by Harris. And Foy with a clear path to the hoop. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with force. And once he took off, it looked like the defense just had no interest in getting in his way. That's one where you just give up the two points and move on. Heinrich kicks to Dunleavy. Back to Heinrich. There's Joe, the pass to Heinrich. For three, Dunleavy. And a great assist by Heinrich as that one goes in. They didn't take their time wrapping this game up. They pretty much did it in a hurry. Yeah, they had a nice spurt to polish this one off. To the paint. Here's Gallinari. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Love the interior passing. He knew exactly where to go with that ball. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. Well, first off, congratulations. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You all have a great day, and peace out.